Now moving on to the back handspring, there are two phases. There's the front side and there's the back side. And on the front side, you wanna to jump to the most important part, which is the middle, to make sure that you have pressure from your hands all the way up to your feet. So this drill is gonna help make sure that the tension is there. So when they hit in the handstand, it's a tight arch, and then they will snap to a tight hollow. Arms front middle, ready, and contact, jump. Snap, very nice. Let's do that one more time. When they make contact, you should see their arms and ears connected. Ready, arms front middle, and go. Connect and snap, very nice. All right, and now for the next phase, we wanna work on the back side. So we're going to scoot up a little bit. We're gonna do the back handspring, and as the feet land, we're gonna do the same thing as we did in the round off. They're gonna leave the hands low, let the bottom drop back. Ready and go, legs together and back. Hands should be about a foot up. Yours are too high, Haley. Bring them down. No, lean forward more, Haley. There. Okay, now you've loaded up. Now swing. And then they're ready for the second back handspring. All right, again. Each time we want to work on form and execution and keeping the head position. So we're going to add a challenge by putting a noodle underneath their necks to help them keep their head still. Many gymnasts want to use the head for rotation. We're gonna keep the head still and use the arms and hips. Arms are in front middle, and go. Arms are up off the mat, off the mat. Very nice, all right, let's do it one more time. Ready, noodles under the neck, arms front middle, and go. Push out in contact, snap under, and come down. All right, very good, now let's grab the sponge. Now for the ultimate form, we wanna keep the head still and we wanna make sure that the legs are staying clean. So we put a noodle under the neck and we put the sponge between the feet. Arms front middle. Ready and go. Very nice. And notice if they fall out, that means that they have relaxed either their tight neck position or their tight foot position. Now we're gonna take it over to yet another challenging area. This starts in the position you would land the round off, at least close to that, slightly exaggerated in the pike. And Maggie is going to swing her arms, keeping the noodle under her neck and the feet between her, her ankles. Ready and go. All the way to her seat, maintaining everything in a tight position, then swing to open. And now Hannah is gonna do the same thing She's gonna have the noodle and the sponge to make sure she keeps form and execution and works without swinging her head and open lift your hips. 